Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. So welcome to my video where I share a day in my life. It was a bit of a slow morning and I share a quick and tasty dinner idea. So the kids have just gone back to school after the Easter holidays and when they went back I wanted to have a really nice like relaxed morning because with the kids home it does get just a little bit hectic although my youngest is still at home she's not started school yet bless her so yeah i wanted to make like a nice breakfast for myself so i popped into asda after dropping the kids off at school and bought a couple of things to make a lovely sandwich for myself So I've got some spinach and uh, cherry tomatoes which I'm just giving a little rinse. And then spraying some oil onto a pan, slicing the tomatoes. And then I did the spinach and just cooked that on a low heat for a little while until soft. I bought some mozzarella, light mozzarella, mind you, and uh, it's not funny, but there you go. Sliced it. And then buttered me bread. And then I just put the mozzarella slices onto the bread, added the spinach and tomato, sprinkled over some salt and pepper and then grilled that on the pan. Made myself a lovely cup of tea. And some nice fresh juice. Delightful, mashallah. I put something on Netflix. I watched a bit of it and it didn't seem that good, but you never know. Maybe I'll get back to it in uh, never. <laughs> so yeah, I just relaxed and enjoyed my lovely relaxing breakfast. I gave the surfaces a little bit of a wipe. And then I took Naseba out for a walk in the park. Not a day has gone by where it hasn't rained. I went out, it wasn't raining, got to the park, raining, but anyway, alhamdulillah, it was still actually quite lovely weather considering how rainy and uh, wet it has been. This, uh, I was going to say a duck, what is this even? I get so confused with the birds and the uh, swimming creatures in the park. I think that's actually a duck, you know, um, was having fun. <laughs> When we got back, Naseba had gone to sleep, so I just put her down. I remembered I had these flowers that I'd bought from Asda, so I was just putting them in some water. And then I marinated some chicken for dinner later. So I've been using this peri peri bag and bake. It's really useful and uh, tastes really nice. So this one's a paprika and lime 
flavor. I do add some chili powder or cayenne pepper just for a bit of spice. And I added some sunflower oil, lemon juice and some garlic and ginger paste to enhance the flavor even more. I've got this whole chicken and I'm just putting some slits into its sweet little body. Sounds evil when I say it like that, doesn't it? Bless this chicken, it sacrificed its life so we could eat it. So alhamdulillah for all the food that we get. And then I coated the chicken in the marinade. Covered it with a shower cap from Poundland. Very useful hack that I shared ages ago. And then I soaked the rice. So I was gonna make like a peri peri style rice later as well for dinner. So I thought I'd just soak the rice and leave it. Then I went to pick up the kids from school. Got back home and um, carried on with dinner, I guess. So the meat had been marinating for a couple of hours. I put the chicken into a bag from that bag and bake a pack and then um, poured the extra marinade in. And just for extra protection, I added the second bag because I bought two packs, remember, in case you forgot. Just fold the bag over on the end like that. And then I air fried it actually, the whole chicken. I've done this a couple of times now and the chicken comes out really nice and soft. So I put it in for an hour at 190 centigrade. And um, yeah, once it's done, I just pull it out and serve it. Um, the kids were a little bit hungry. So I had this angel delight, banana flavor. So I prepared that for them. I thought it'd be a nice little um, refreshing kind of snack for them after school. And then I topped with some sliced strawberries. They enjoyed that, mashallah. So I'm just dicing an onion for the rice. So I've got some sunflower oil and then I added in the onion and browned it a little. And then I added some frozen mixed veg and let that cook until it was soft and no longer frozen. The rice that I'd soaked earlier, I drained it and rinsed it to get rid of the starch, starchiness. So whatever it is you get rid of when you wash your rice. The chicken was done by this time, so I took it out of the bag. Be careful because there's lots of steam in there and you don't want to get burnt. So it looks juicy, doesn't it, that chicken? And um, I had lots of lovely chicken stock, which I lost a bit of there. How sad. But yeah, I had some uh, chicken stock, so I put it into a jug and I was going to use that for the rice. I also put some um, garlic bread into the air fryer. Yeah, so here's the salt and spices that I added to the rice. So once the veg is soft, add in those spices and salt. Give it a little stir. The rice went in then. And then I added this chicken stock water to the rice. I used 650 grams of rice and you need to use double the amount of water. So I added 1.3 litres of water, including the chicken stock. So I allowed the rice to cook and then cut up my chicken. And then I served it up. 
Mashallah, it was really delicious. Quick, easy dinner, and it looks fancier than it actually was. And that was dinner done for that particular evening. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Jazakallah, thank you so much for watching. Inshallah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, salam. Bye.